Times are really tough right now for restaurants, and one of my favorites is offering a take and grill kit. So of course, I had to try it out and go and pick one up. J-Dogs and I have a pretty long history. I have a lot of memories where we'd go there, hang out in the shade with friends, and eat their hot dogs. In fact, one of my greatest traditions was the day before a big race, we would go there and we would eat the hot dogs as a team before we left town. So of course, when one of those people came back to town, there wasn't even a question about where we would go to eat. It had to be J-Dogs. So if you're ever in Utah, I recommend that you check them out and go to J-Dogs and get the Polish dogs. So let's see, which grill should I take? Let's go with the Kamado. One of the benefits of the Kamado is I can fire it up before I go pick up the hot dogs. And when I get back, it's gonna be ready to go. So J-Dogs has a deal where you can pick up the dogs yourself and it's less than you'd pay if you went to the store. They give you all the fixins and their secret sauce, which is the most important ingredient in any J-Dog for sure. So let's go pick them up and then we're gonna go home and grill them ourselves. I headed home to check out the spoils. The kit came with six Polish dogs and two cups of special sauce. It also came with more toppings than I would ever need. And since man cannot live by dogs alone, I made my own sides and grilled up some squash and mushrooms. If you don't like zucchini, you gotta try grilling it and you'll be amazed at how good it can turn out. Big hot dogs like these work best with the reverse sear method. So I set them out on the grate to warm all the way through to a safe temperature before I put them directly over the coals which will give them a bit of color and char and give it that great grilled flavor that we're all craving for. The dogs are pretty close to the coals and are gonna burn quickly, so it's a good idea to keep them turning unless you're the kind of person that likes their hot dogs black on the outside. Now that really isn't me. I prefer mine when the casing turns golden and tight with just a few grill marks to enhance that presentation. I know I'm preaching to the choir on this one because you've all made grilled hot dogs before, but the cook can make a really big difference and ruin a good dog or make a cheap one taste better. So as soon as they get the color you like, put them on the indirect side to keep them warm while you cook the other ones. Now there's always someone who's gonna want their bun toasted. So I toss it on the grill for a couple of minutes just to keep them happy. To dress your dog, I like to keep it simple and let the flavors from the high quality 100% beef hot dog shine through. My dog always comes with a healthy amount of banana peppers and a dill pickle spear. The most important ingredient of all is the J-Dog special sauce. Legend has it that this is Jay's grandmother's recipe and is an incredibly sweet barbecue sauce that pairs perfectly with the dogs and the sour toppings. I've tried to recreate it and failed, so grandma's secret recipe is still safe. The only thing left to do is give it the taste test, and I already knew from past experience that it was gonna be amazing. So don't forget to check out my hot dogs around the US video where I made a homemade corn dog and a few others.